Alexa, please discover my devices. Starting discovery. If you have a Philips Hue bridge, please press the button located on the bridge. The search can take up to 20 seconds. Well, I don't have a Philips Hue bridge. I've got this Wemo LED lighting starter kit that just uh, was given to me as a gift. And look at the amazing price reduction on it. It was $50, it's now $30, which is a little bit more palatable. Discovery is complete. I couldn't find any connected home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Well, I really don't care about the Philips uh, setup, at least at this point, because I don't have one of those. Tell me what's going on with my Wemo, my LED lighting starter kit that I got. Uh, and she's not helping me at all in that process. So the deal is that I bought these with the assumption that my Amazon Echo would control them. Now, the fact is you can control them with your smartphone by downloading an app. And that's really cool in itself to be able to control your lights with an app. And you can control your lights anywhere in the world should you uh, decide to do so. But this particular kit comes with the Wemo Hub and it comes with two light bulbs to get you started. And if you read the website, at least on the, uh, the Amazon website, it would appear that this device is a part of the family of products that are uh, supported by the Amazon Echo so that you can not only control them with your smartphone, but control them with your voice, with your Echo. So I was very disappointed to find out that she couldn't find my devices. So what I did is I sent support a, uh, a little email and here's what they told me at the, uh, in support. They said, based on your email, the Wemo LED bulbs are not discoverable by the Amazon Echo. Please be informed that Amazon Echo only supports the following Wemo devices. Wemo Switch, Wemo Insight, and Wemo light switch. Amazon Echo still won't work with the Wemo LED bulbs. You may refer to this link for more information, which I didn't, uh, I didn't look at. So I just kept going back and forth and I was reading, you know, uh, different uh, things online and trying to find the answer. Why isn't this working? I've done everything they've told me to do. Well, the process for setting up the, the LED bulbs themselves to work with your app is quite simple. In fact, it's very similar to the way you set up your Echo, which is once it's in setup mode, you take this little device here, which is your uh, hub, plug it into the wall, and the hub will then become a Wi-Fi router. You connect your phone to it as a Wi-Fi router, and then in turn the app will communicate with the device. You can then point the device to your own Wi-Fi router, the one that actually has the internet on it, and then you can add your light bulbs to it. So here's one of the light bulbs here. This is a, a Wemo bulb. Looks like a, a standard LED bulb. Just, you know, very normal looking other than the fact that it says Wemo on it. And then uh, here is a, a regular LED bulb that I already had that is not Wi-Fi capable or have the ability to remote control it, at least in itself. So the other devices that, uh, that they mentioned there are in fact, one of them is a switch that just plugs into uh, to your, uh, you know, a place where you already have a light switch. You just replace it with that light switch. And then there's another one that's a plug-in item that you attach to the wall and then plug something into it. So again, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of a beginning for me in the home automation process. And I really wanted to see what Echo could do uh, on that regard. So let me show you what, uh, what the end result is because guess what? There is a workaround and there is a way that you can get your uh, Amazon Echo to control these lights, these very lights in this box. And at $30, it's kind of a cool way to get started in them. So first, let me demonstrate to you what the process looks like, at least what you're telling the Echo to do to get it to work. Alexa, trigger bright light. Sending that to it.
Alexa, trigger nightlight. Sending that to it. So as you can see here, I am controlling these two lamps that contain the two LED bulbs with my Amazon Echo. Alexa, trigger lights off. Sending that to it. Now you're probably wondering what ift is. Why is she saying sending that to ift? Who is ift? All right, I'm going to show you who ift is because ift is pretty cool. I'm going to show you with the app that I have first. Okay, so here I have on my iPhone 6 Plus, I have these three apps. I have my Amazon Echo app, my ift app, which is that if one there in the middle, and then I have my Wemo app over here. And I'll just show you that real quick because I, I need to show you about grouping. So once you set up your lamps in there, you can then put them into a group. And the way you do that is you go up here and you hit this edit button up at the top. And that gives you these little double uh, bars right here. And then you can take them and drag them on top of each other. So before I did that, there was two individual lamps listed here. Now the thing to remember is that when you name them, you need to name them with words. In other words, don't name them lamp number one and lamp number two, but put words in there because that's, the, that's what uh, the echo is going to understand. So if you want to call it lamp one and lamp two, do it just like this. So then you, do, you go and you put them into a group together, and that's very important. So the next thing you're going to need to do is go into the settings down here under more and you'll see that there is this generate IFTTT pin. That's where we're getting the ift. Okay. So what you do, so what you do is you go in there and go to ift and then you can um, set up what, what are called if this then that recipes. Okay. So let me show you what an if then if this then that recipe looks like. So if I go in my if app, I'll actually show you the uh, the different recipes that I've created, and that's what they call them on here. So here's one that I created here. It says if you say this, and I won't say it because she'll do it. We'll just say echo. If you say echo trigger lights off, then turn off the lamps. If you say Alexa trigger night lights then change the lamp's dim setting. If you say if you say echo trigger bright lights, then change the lamp's dimmer. Now, at least in that case, I made the dimmer 100%. If you say echo trigger the lights off, then turn off the lamps. If you say echo trigger bright lights, then change the lamp's dim. That may be an actual uh is that an, is that a uh yeah, it looks like I've got it in there a couple of times. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I'm not sure why there's extra ones of those in there. I actually did this on their website. So now that I'm showing you, I'm showing it from the app. Um, one of the other cool things uh, that this if this then that will do is you can say uh, Amazon uh, trigger my phone or trigger find my phone and this little icon here is actually the Amazon Echo uh, symbol that you find on their website and uh, the phone is a, is a little app on there that you register your phone with and then what it will do is actually call your phone and find it. I wanted to put other family members in there but unfortunately it only lets you put your own phone in there uh, or at least just one phone number. Uh, at least that's what it, it did for me. So here you can see the little recipes that I've created, and there's lots of uh, general ones on their website as well that you can create. Uh, in fact, you really don't need uh, an Echo or uh, a Wemo light kit to use this website. So you got to register with them, and that is like at uh, uh, was it ifttt.org or .com, something like that, and go through and set up your uh, your uh, rules or what it calls recipes. 
So strangely enough, uh, you can put the two together through this website and it will do the, uh, the homework for you, even though this in itself does not support these particular devices. Okay. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of cool. Alexa, trigger find my phone. Sending that to it. Sometimes these commands take a few minutes, but there we go. Now my phone is ringing, and if my ringer's on, I can actually hear it. And I will go ahead and decline the call. And they will actually leave you a, uh, they'll leave you a, uh, a voicemail telling you that uh, you had used the uh, Amazon Echo to try and find your phone recently. So uh, earlier I mentioned the little light modules that you could use to just plug something in and remote control it. It would look like this. The one from Belkin looks like this, but this particular one is one that's controlled with a little remote control. So that was what I was using first to control my lamps before I uh, installed these Wi-Fi enabled ones. So anyway, just a little bit of a uh, of tidbit of sharing of information there with you, and hopefully this helps you out. And, um, and uh, Alexa, do you have anything uh, to say before we leave today? Thank you for watching this video. Yes, I agree. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope it was helpful for you. Please subscribe and share this video with a friend. Oh, well, thank you. That's very helpful. By the way, I really like your bow. It's kind of pretty on you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, that's all for now. We will see you next time. And uh, Merry Christmas, if it happens to be Christmas time while you're watching this.